Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about what is going on with legacy card prices and my opinion. So again, this is my opinion. I make the video on this channel. If you disagree or agree, leave me a comment below. I feel like legacy is a not a safe place to be. One of the problems selling and buying legacy cards, even assuming that they go up in price, is counterfeits. The counterfeits I've seen recently have been spot on and unless you're looking for it to be a counterfeit then you're not going to find it. You need a magnifying glass, you need a lot of these counterfeits now pass the light test, the recent ones. And besides just counterfeits there's also the problem of condition. Conditions affect car prices a lot. And if you take the card to five different stores, you might get five different conditions on it. And especially if the store is trying to buy it from you, uh, one store might be you know friendlier and another store might just try to you, you half price it. So when we look at these legacy prices, in addition to not going up in price, they have gone down in price. And they were artificially inflated by speculators, by MTG finance community. They have an email list and they talk to each other. They have a Facebook group, they talk to each other and they decide, hey, I wanna buy this card out, not because I'm a Magic the Gathering player, but because the qu quantity of the card is getting low, the supply is low, even though there's no demand, can we artificially create demand? And a lot of times it does work. As you can see with Moat, Moat went up from no, three hundred dollars to nine hundred to a thousand dollars almost during that period of buyouts, very aggressive buyouts, and then it has since come down in price. How many people are going to buy a moat? Not many. Moat is being played as you know one or of in a a legacy deck, miracles I believe, and that's it. Um, you can check on Goldfish MTG. I, I don't see it any other decks. It's not that great of a card in my opinion. So the price is wholly dependent on not actual demand, but artificial demand. And the best example of this graph is Lion's Eye Diamond. It is on the reserve list. And at one time, they were able to spike you up to $240. And this was a very, very famous example of some a single point investor convincing his friends to go in on this investment together. However, it has not looked very well. It's not looked great. Um, it has not looked... I would be pissed if my friend told me to buy this because it was guaranteed and I held it. There was no graph after it spiked. It just kept going down in price. So there was no point you can get rid of it and feel good about that situation because you're always trying to you, at most you break even you're going to lose some value shipping cards is expensive tracking is expensive if you're shipping this to europe it's 25 dollars or tracking i recently shipped a few few dual lands off there at the very end of the day if you look at the legacy staples that are not dual lands. Dual lands are separate and I will talk about them in a different video, which I need to go way into detail about why they are different. They have EDH playability. They are just the best lands. Everyone needs lands. They are different because so many more people need them and the casual crowd needs them and the casual crowd is 90 to 95% of the people who play Magic but they understand that dual lands are very good because you know they want one for their commander deck. When you talk about the MTG Finance, MTG Legacy, they would have you believe that everything is going according to plan, we're all making money, everyone's happy, we're living a lavish lifestyle, and we're getting wealthy from MTG speculation, MTG Finance, and investing in these reserve legacy cards i'm here to tell you is that the math just doesn't add up you know i sell cards i used to sell and buy cards a lot at huge volumes in shipping um, if you have to buy list a card out because you have too many of it which happens a lot if you have over 20 copies of it 
selling them is very difficult one by one, especially if you want to sell them into the hype. You need to figure out, can I buy list them? If you're buy listing them for a hyped card, often it's less than 50% of the retail, so you have to hope the card really goes up in price. Legacy as a whole, I know that a lot of people here think I'm a Debbie Downer on Legacy. I own four Legacy decks still, and those are the four Legacy decks I grew up with. Those are the four Legacy decks I had throughout college. I think Legacy is a great format, but I haven't played Legacy in two years. Not because I don't want to, it's just that I don't have anyone to play with. For, I, for me to play Legacy, I need to find someone who is not playing standard, who's not playing modern, who's not playing EDH. And that's getting more increasingly difficult to do. Um, if someone is a casual player, they're not going to be able to use top, right? They're not going to understand it, and they actually won't like it. A lot of the demand for legacy is stymied by the fact that you need a critical amount of players. I know Seattle, I heard a legacy scene is very good. New York City, these are very large cities with old school or people who have invested in magic a long time ago. They're not paying $4,000 for a deck. Those are the people who paid $40 for a duel for a Tundra, and that was expensive back then. And those are the people who paid $20 for a Black Lotus, and they just so happened to have the cards. But if you're new, really difficult, really difficult to invest in a format that, in my honest personal opinion, just doesn't have any more life left because you need critical mass. You need critical mass. And you can either get that from advertisement, from Wizard of the Coast. You can get that from Star City advertisement. But how how how, is, how are they going to get new players? The main problem is the reserve list and the dual lands on the reserve list. If the dual lands were not on the reserve list, I don't feel like we would have the problem we have today. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.